Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody doing today? Welcome back to our channel. We have uh, new prism pours that I'm going to show everybody today. Some new colors, um, right? Yeah, there is four new colors that came out. And um, I'm actually showing five because I added the um, orchid to this as well, the hot orchid. But these are the new prism pours that came out by Color Art. And the colors are, oh, what are these colors again, Phil? Oh, no. Remember, you looked them up so we would pronounce them correct? Oh, that's uh, Chrysacala. 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 This one's a Golden Harvest. This is the... The Salon Cinnamon. Hot Orchid and Chantilly Lace. <laughs> <laughs> we looked it up because I didn't really, I, I wasn't too up, far off from pronouncing it correct, but got to have it correct. So these are the new colors. I have a 12 by 12 canvas. I already have my base down, which is Walmart, ready to use, color place, uh, white, parenthesis satin, no silicone, no water, no glue, just right out of the can, color place by Walmart. Um, like I said, it's a 12 by 12, and I'm going to just do a regular bloom, but I'm going to put my little spin on it too. And, of course, I'm using my Black Magic Cell Activator. Okay. So, let's get started here, people, and see what happens. Here is this beautiful color. <laughs> and what is that color again? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's the Chrysacala. Yeah. It? Okay. <laughs> Can you see that? Yes. That's the consistency you're looking for, right? Yeah, it might be a little thick. Okay. But these, uh, you only thin them with water. Okay. And I made these up yesterday, so I probably should have put a little bit more water in them, but you don't put anything in them except water. Nothing. I do want to mention uh, about the description box in all our videos. There's a, there's a wealth of information in every description box that we have for each video. Uh, it has links for discount codes from our affiliates so you can save a lot of money. It has links, it has links to the preferred products that Kathy, Kathy uses. Uh, there are also direct links to Kathy's Amazon shop, her Etsy shop, and a red bubble shop. Uh, there's a link to join her Facebook group. Uh, there's a recipe video out there that has a recipe for all the different paints and pigments she uses. And all the colors used in each product are listed there, among other information. So uh, don't ignore the description box. There's a wealth of information out there. Okay, this is the Harvest Honey. That's a yeah, these might Beautiful, be a little nice thick. Color. These might be a little thick. Okay, now we're on to our cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Cinnamon. You know what? I'm gonna put a little bit of this Chantilly lace in there. This looks like um, diamonds when you see it in the light. It is beautiful. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see some of the... Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I'm just going to add a little bit of that in there. See what happens. Now back to my cinnamon. Ceylon cinnamon. I'm leaving that for you to say. No, I'm probably mispronouncing that too. That's, that's why I don't want to pronounce it. <laughs> I'll let them blame you, Phil. This is the hot orchid. And this is beautiful. This color is beautiful. You got this, Phil? Yes. It is. Look at that. Wow. I did yeah. mention that Kathy does have a page on Facebook, or a group, I should say, on Facebook called Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. I'll let you... This is the Chantilly Lace. Chantilly Lace. Okay. Chantilly Lace <laughs> with a pretty face. Mm -hmm. 
a ponytail, a hanging down. I'm giving away my age now. <laughs> Some of them will know what I'm singing and others won't have a clue. Okay, on with my black magic cell activator. Just to finish up on the Facebook group, we'd love to have you join. You can post your creations, make comments, ask for suggestions. It's a fun group. It's growing tremendously. We'd love to have you there. Okay, Phil, you ready? We're gonna see what happens with these colors. Yeah, the colors are very pretty. Oh, we'll see once, Phil. Yes, I love it's the. It's really pretty. Chrysocolla. <laughs> the chrysocolla is very nice around the outside. You know what it reminds Capicola. I wanted to keep saying Capicola, you know. <laughs> The, yeah. the Italian sausage. Yeah, there we go. The hot orchid is making a nice central part of the bloom, too. Oh, wow. Very nice. As you can see, Kathy likes to use a flexible straw to do the finer uh, touches on her blooms. That way she can direct uh, the, the air exactly where she wants it and in the amount that she wants. Some areas need light blowing and some areas need heavier blowing. And she also used that to bring up the cells in the middle of the bloom. That's really pretty. Really pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. What are you doing now? One guess. Wrecking. You got it. You know me. So many people don't want me to wreck things, but that's that's fine. I don't listen to you either, Phil, so That's right. I just that's oh, my thing. So I'm I'm in the camp that I like wrecking. I think it adds some extra interest to the composition as long as it's not overdone. Yeah, I mean, other and I people. Wouldn't, I wouldn't fool I'm not with going the in the middle. Bloom. No, I'm not going in the middle. Other people, they have oh. their way. Well, that's the beauty of art. It is, and I have Everybody my. Everybody likes something a little bit different. And... I kind of liked how you framed the central bloom. That's what I, I, because I wasn't going to go wrecking. through it, though. Yes. So I thought I got to put a, like a picture frame around it. Yeah. You got that idea correct, Phil. And then how the wrecking brings out coloration into the negative areas, too.
I was a little leery of that Krista Kala when you first put it on, but I, I love how it surrounded the bloom. And it's a very nice color. It's beautiful. And um, I think some of that... Uh, the, what the was chantilly that? lace? Yeah, the chantilly lace uh, lined it up in some areas mm -hmm. very nicely. Okay, well, we're going to spin this and see what happens. So here we go, Abracadabra. Show us what you got, Black Magic. And uh, you might not even want to go all the way to the edge. Leave some mm -hmm. of the go wow. leave it. I just want to get that in the middle. Just a beautiful coloration in the central bloom. The bloom expanded nicely. And I love that there's negative, negative space. space on each corner. Yeah, well, basically, yeah, on each corner and around it and so forth. That really helps to have it pop out. This is really pretty. Yes, it is. I didn't know if you just wanted to get that corner a little bit closer since the other ones are. You don't have to if you're if you're happy with the how it's centered and everything, I wouldn't fool with it. Well, I have it centered now. Yeah, I wouldn't fool with it because I don't want to have any any more distortion uh, in, in the central area of this. I, um, I love how all of the cells basically stayed in the center bloom. Um, yeah, me too. That's so cool. That is really cool. I yes. can tip it just a tad more over. Here. Those are my favorite types of blooms is where you have a beautiful central coloration along with the cells and then you have just it's really, really neat um, wrecking lines that give character to the surrounding colors. This is this is really really pretty. Very very I'm really glad I added that hot orchid. It's really really pretty. Yes. It's just too bad they can't see all the sparkles because, I mean, it's just loaded with sparkles. Yeah, let's see if we can see well, them. You, can, you can see them. Yeah, when I get really close. Close, that's when you can really see the sparkles. Right. I mean, it, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful in there. Mm -hmm. And when this is gets that three coats of varnish that you use, mm -hmm. uh, this is going it, it's it's to sparkle very nicely. So that's, that is cool. This is really pretty. So if you like it, everybody, give me a thumbs up. Um, head over to Prism Pour. Uh, Color Art right now has a 25% discount code until, until the 31st of January. So head on over. You can save 25% on your total order. And uh, these Prism Pours are absolutely gorgeous. So pick yourself up some. All you do is add a little bit of water and, I mean, away you go. It's it's so easy. And um, Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'd love to have you join our family. Go to Facebook, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Join our Facebook group over there too. We have over 4,000 members in there already. So um, I don't know what else to say except thanks for all your support. We love all of you. Um, leave me a comment. And until the next time, I'll see you all later, alligators. Bye-bye.